Hi y'all, so my name is Susan and I'm here to tell you a bit about myself and my career in diagnostic radiography. So I just want to say in advance, sorry but I'm a bit nervous and also I'm going to be looking down a lot because I'm looking at my notes. But just to start off, what is diagnostic radiography? Diagnostic radiography is um, using different imaging modalities such as MRI, CT, ultrasound, CT, if I haven't said that, just to name a few, to find the different abnormalities in your body and yeah um on a day-to-day -day, um routine when i'm on placement um i would be assigned to be somewhere so for example say for example that is x-ray um i can i'll be working alongside a qualified radio provider that works in the hospital and i'll be taking images with them of real patients um whether that would be them leaving me to do it um, them helping me, um, I'm working with them, or them just stepping in whenever they think they need to, but that's what I'd be doing in the hospital. Um, so the disadvantages and the advantages of working in diagnostic radiography. Um, one advantage would be the fact that it's no day is the same. You can be doing something different every day, which is something to look forward to. We don't like diversity, a little bit of, you know, change to what you're doing. And that means it's something to look forward to because no case is ever the same. As far as disadvantages go, um, I'd say that um, we have short contact with patients, so you never actually get to see them again or ever get to catch up and say, oh, hey, are you all right now? You know, um, whereas with nurses, they would they might deal with patients for a long period of time and you know they'll be able to keep track of what's going on as well. Um, in terms of education, um, I studied English, Maths and Science, Additional and Core Science, RE, History, Classics, um, Resistant Materials as well. That's all I can remember at the top of my head. Um, oh, French as well, I guess. Um, got to have a cheeky language in there. Um, as far as BTEC goes, I wanted to study something that was practical. Um, so I studied at BTEC in extended, sorry, a BTEC. Uh, in health and social care ex extended diploma there we go um and that was fine that was two years and then i came to university and i study um, a bachelor of science in diagnostic radiography and imaging Whew, okay there we go it's difficult part over with <laughs> um so why did i choose diagnostic radiography i like the modules they taught in universities so i love science i like physics i like physics um, so I enjoyed that, so that, we need to, so that made me want to do it more. And also the fact that I kept on running into it, so I was like, Mr. Amy, this is a sign, let me research into it, and it was something I wanted to do. Um, as far as advice goes for someone that wants to study diagnostic radiography, it is going to be hard, you know, you may compare yourself to other students who don't do healthcare and say, you know, like, I don't have a lot of time, I don't have a social life. It is what it is, but keep on working hard, keep on studying keep on going to placement it's going to be draining but um it's going to be very fulfilling when you get to be on placement and like you learn everything you get to meet your patients you know it's ex i find it exciting a lot of my a lot of my fellow students <laughs> find it exciting too so you know um and other information for anyone else um i'd say that I do diagnostic radiography, so there's two types of um, parts of radiography, there's therapeutic and diagnostic. Therapeutic is the cancer side and they that's the discover, I think that would be more so the treating side if I'm not wrong. And diagnostic is of course finding the modalities, addressing it, then I'm going on to, you know, go on to do physio or operation or anything else. Um, also we're not doctors, we're just radiographers, a lot of people get that mistaken.